So basically to start the application you need to type rails server and this will type the application on your machine. So like previous part we had created a form using a basic form layout using the signup method. So let's create the input type for this. So for this we can type input type is equal to email. Uh, so this is the email and the name is equal to uh, we can give a name uh, any user name uh, this is like let's give this a name uh, email or like give let's give this a username okay and let's give the, the a name username and required and this is required so let's give this and so I hope this is fine and we can define a ID is equal to username basically ID is uh, is needed for the label so for this corresponding let's create a label method so let's create a label label for username and let's create this label let's close this and let's create type username here so this is how it is done and to avoid any like csfr token since we are making a process so we need to define percent equal to token underscore tag and this is this okay so this is how we do it in types equal to email name is equal to username id is equal to unrequired uh, and this is like table for this is user password so we are creating a user password here and for this we are defining input type is equal to password and we need to define name is equal to user password and id is equal to user password okay and this is also required so we keep this as required okay and since we need to define input type is equal to submit value is equal to register let's keep a value of register uh, this is fine and we can close this tag so by default when we refresh this page so we need to find something like username and we need to define a password here okay yeah password is required so let's keep this and let's put there as a password okay and this is fine okay so let's yeah so let's yeah we have an option to sign up that is username and password and let's we have a register button okay so this is fine so let's give this as a sign up page Okay, so this is fine now so we have a user password and like so let's create when we submit this form so we need a, a method to where we need to submit this form so let's create this method uh, let's create this method uh, sorry a route for this so that is post register and when we hit this register so basically we tell them okay uh, we define users hash create and we need to define this as as register okay so this is fine we need to define as a register post register we need to find two, uh, users hash create as registers so when we make a post request so we need to hit this method okay so I have maintained this method so I'll give you show you a trick uh, how to view this routes everywhere so move to this local route okay this is your base route app is working this is sign up app is working okay type an invalid route something like uh, any invalid route maybe I type invalid a uh, uh, invalid xyz something anything invalid now you get this and now you can type register uh, uh, you can uh, like home you can uh, search from here as well and i'll use this so it says register underscore path which hits on users as great so i can use this copy this i'll copy this register underscore path 
and let's move to this page and I can type percent equal to this. So this works perfectly fine. So this would be like this would help you from defining like this works as a constant. So it action moves to this route at a particular. These are good to put. Okay. So when you put this this register underscore path it will hit this method because i've told him to move to hit this method and then you can simply render json just for this simplicity i'm telling it to render json params okay so let's now hit the sign up uh let's uh, uh type a user at the rate mail .com. and let's give a dummy password something like very dummy password you can give so one two three four five six okay. i'll type again one two three four five six so let's hit this so when we hit so the like it never so we have authenticity token is to this username is equal to this and user password is this and controller is this action is great this is fine so what we need to define we need to define email is equal to params of what params you are getting here so we are getting a params of username Let's copy this to avoid any and password is equal to params of this user password okay and this is fine so we have already like i have shown you like in the previous tutorial so i'll just you give you a quick overview yeah so we had created a user right so okay this is not needed i'll show you again we can type exit and we'll type rails console okay so rails console would be open and when i type user dot connection and then i'll type user so this is how we have email and password underscore digest okay so this is we how we create a user so we can define user we can define simply user dot create we need to define user dot create where email is equal to email and password underscore digest is equal to password i hope this is fine and then you can simply say response response is equal to this and let's define a success is equal to two and enter json response okay so let's hit this request again okay i need to make sure the server is running server is not running so let's start the server so let's hit the request again and this time the user should be created okay so basically i'll show you again once again so password is this user is email.com let's again I'm making the request again let's make a request again okay i'll zoom this and now i'll make it. so this is the username and user password let's make the request again and i should get a success is equal to true okay good if the success is true then let me check let me check uh So I'll do Rails console. Okay. So I'll do Rails console and this would me do user dot first. Okay. So now you see the password is being stored in a digested form. Okay. So thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you everyone.